as a makeup artist, one of the questions I'm always asked is how to cheat bigger, brighter eyes. Here's how to. So I'm going to start by using my retoucher. I'm going to pop that in the inner corner of the eyes and underneath the eyes, and that will instantly lighten and brighten the entire area. And it'll get rid of any dark circles and just sort of canvas it and make it look beautifully even. And the reason I'm using my ring finger is because the skin around the eyes is very delicate. So just by patting it in, you must never rub this area as it will kind of irritate it and make it much kind of baggy. You've got to be very gentle with the skin around this area. Next, I'm going to use my life-changing eyelash curlers. Get right in and nestle and hold that. Get right down to the base of the lash and that will instantly give the eye a lift. It will open up the eyes and make the eyes look instantly kind of bigger. Next, I'm going to take my Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder and it's a little bit of a kind of makeup artist trick to just pop a little bit of that in there to set the retoucher so that it doesn't shine, it keeps it all in place. It's got lots of emollients in it so it never looks dusty. If you've got any lines around your eyes, it will actually smooth them out. It's really quite a miraculous powder. I'm now going to apply my Eye Cheat Eyeliner, which is a rock and cold formula, which is amazing because it stays in place for 12 hours. I'm going to put this along the waterline. As you can see, the colour of this pencil is nude and not white, which is the colour they used to use in the 60s. It's just far too harsh and stark because the colour inside your eye is more like a nudie flesh colour. And so it mimics this and immediately makes your eyes look kind of bigger and brighter. I'm now going to apply my eye pencil. I'm going to start off by using it in the corner of the eye, dragging it as tight to the lash line as you can possibly get. And then doing a thin line all the way along. And when you get to the outer corner, place a dot where you want the feline flick to end to give your eye a little bit of lift. And then join up the dot. And that will give an immediate lift to the eyes. When applying this eyeliner, you know, a pointed cotton bud and a little bit of magic cream is always your best friend. Because, you know, sometimes you might want to perfect the kind of tail end of the flick so that it has the perfect tiny point. And this colour is so beautiful because it's dark, but it has this beautiful hue of midnight blue that goes through it. This is very subtle, but it immediately brightens the eye and it's beautiful, particularly on brown eyes, because it really adds a little bit of light to the eyes. And then trace that right the way along the base of the bottom lashes. When you come almost to the end, Take a cotton bud and sort of soften it so it doesn't have a harsh ending. So I'm now going to take my smudger brush and dipping it into the enhanced shade, I'm going to pop a little bit of that and then nestle it into the socket, go backwards and forwards like a windscreen wiper and it's going to join up on the outer corner and that immediately will add a little bit of depth to the eye and make it look softened and enhanced. And I'm going to pop a little bit of the same enhanced shade underneath the eye going backwards and forwards again with my smudger brush to soften the line and add a little bit more depth to the eye. And then pop your smudger brush into the smoke shade and again just go backwards and forwards and that will just soften the line and just add a little bit of depth to your eyes. I'm then going to take the eye blender brush and I'm going to dip that into the same smoke shade and I'm going to pop a little bit of that just in that outer V corner Again, it's just very subtle, natural colours that just will give it a kind of little bit of depth and lift without it looking like you're really wearing lots of makeup. I'm going to take my smudger brush and dip that into the prime shade. And I'm going to pop a little bit of that in the corner and that will just widen the eyes and make the eyes look a little bit more wide apart. As a final touch, I'm now going to use my Full Fat Lashes Mascara and I'm going to get that right into the base of the lashes. And what's fantastic about this mascara is it really is the perfect five in one. It sort of adds volume, length, drama. It never clogs either, which is so fabulous about it. It really does give you that kind of false eyelash flutter. By going into the outer corner and stretching them upwards and outwards with the brush, which has been laser cut into this five star shape to particularly do that, it will make you look like your eyes have kind of had a little bit of an eye lift. A great trick with this is to put it on, let it dry for a second or two, and then reapply. And by using the tip, which is especially designed to do, it then coats every individual bottom lash. And it's really important that you do top and bottom lashes if you want to kind of really grow the size of your eyes, literally, and the size of your lashes, because it will just make the, you know, it will just 
make your eyes look a lot bigger. There you have it, my secrets to bigger, brighter eyes.